Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode was the two hour long class trial, and now we're back. So, someone's sniffling. Oh, look, it's. Asahina. Fucking pussy. Like I was saying, the last episode was the two hour long. I think two hour. I think it was. Maybe an hour, two hours, class long trial. Ugh. Right now we're back to the normal days. Uh, where's my phone so I can set a timer? I should have done this before we started recording. Girl understands. Donuts. I'll have some donuts, then I know I'll feel better. Okay, this girl is fucking weird. This is her room? Okay. Ring donuts, coolers, donut holes, jelly filled mallet, mouse, malasat, malasatas, sata, and dagi. Oh, patron saint of pastry, grace me with the warmth of your oven so that I may might find true deliciousness. Yeah, you're fucking weird. So sorry. Please forgive me for breaking curfew. Right now, I'm in dire need of donuts. Huh? Huh? Okay. Order? What was that sound? Mm. Sounds like it's coming from the bath. Demo. Is anybody there? I'm scared, but... <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, chapter 3, Neon Genesis Super Vortex, Redux, Rise, Armored Hero. That was fucking long. God, I'm sorry about this mic. I'm trying not to move. The morning after the second class trial, I just explained this Makoto. Damn it, I could. We gathered together like usual in our usual spot, the cafeteria. And as usual, held our usual breakfast assembly. Or so we should have, but <sighs> not a great turnout today, dudes. Ka Kawa and Togs are out, no change in that, but <sighs> Master Aoi oh. Master Aoi Asahina is also nowhere to be seen. Asina says she has a stomach ache. She's resting in her room today. That's unusual. She's usually so bubbly. Indeed, I am rather concerned for her. Yeah. So that just leaves the seven of us? That's how it looks. <laughs> Alright, chair dude. Time to take the reins and crack. Okay. He's just out of it. Guess not. Okay, Ishimaru, what the fuck? Ishimura hasn't so much as opened his mouth ever what happened last night. His mouth is open right now though, Nike. And it was apparent from his face he hadn't slept a wink either. He's gotta be in shock after that. To learn his close friend Owada had murdered Fujisaki, and then to watch that happen to him. It's no surprise he's in this condition. Hello. At any rate, what shall we do from here? We can't find an exit, and nobody's coming to save us. Ugh, just saying so depresses me. We just need to make friends and live here together peacefully. Forget about the outside world and embrace our new lives here. That is our one glimmer of hope now. I can't imagine living in this place forever. We have food and clothing in abundance, and no lack of conveniences. What is there to be dissatisfied about? I ask you, what more does the outside world have to offer? Competition, discrimination, sacrifice, violence. As society grows in size, so too does its sadism. Oh boy. On the contrary, we're better off here. Big words. Heretical angel, super squishy princess. What was that? Jill Shamegu, the bunny-eared Am Amazoness, cat girl, dog boy, galactic king, justice robo, and and and. At any rate, there's no 2D in this place. It is because you and everyone else cling to your desires that the puppet master has so much control. Anyway, dudes, 
with Ish in the ship he's in, it's up to me, the eldest, to rally the troops. That being said, I declare today our group exploration day. Exploration? Since we made it through another class trial, there should be additional areas we can visit. Bullseye, dude. We'll definitely find some clues this time. Very well. After breakfast, we shall split up and begin the exploration. Is that agreeable, Celeste? I'm certain that our discovery is just, to, just waiting to be made that will further enrich our lives here. Um, by search for clues, she then burst into the room, stopping the conversation dead in its tracks. You called him again! Oh, what the... what the fight? We didn't call you, we didn't call you! And why is it genocider and not Kawa, dude? A uh, homicidal man like me, free to prance around my, to my heart's content. This school's bloody wonderful. That's why I decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more lurking around. Uh -huh. Plus, I've got something to fight for. Classic mystery novels love to use DID as an easy scapegoat, giving people like me a bad name. So I will do battle, day in and day out, to clear my reputation. But that's exactly what you are, dude. Girl, were she not here, our chances of survival will increase a full 10%. Keep crying for me, baby. I love being recognized for who I am. <laughs> Regardless, we should have we should first have breakfast. You can, cannot accomplish anything while hungry. Yeah, you're right. Let's hurry up and eat, and then start our investigation. <laughs> you're fucking weird. Breakfast with a homicidal maniac, having survived such a mon monumentous experience. We quickly began our investigation. Alrighty, so I'm guessing I'm alone because no one likes me. Right? Yeah, that's a... I guess so. Um, from what I know, that's calf. This leads to the next floor, which will lead to the cafeteria. No, not cafeteria. This will lead to the next flight of stairs. So, let's go, I guess. I don't see anybody. Do I want to go? No, not right now. I guess we'll go upstairs. Oh, Hagakure. What's up? Nothing's changed on this floor, dude. But the shutters by the stairs on the third floor have been opened. Well, we can get on the third floor now, dude. And I bet there's a lot of sorts of stuff there, dude. Alright, then. I guess I'm there. Was that the way to it? Um, yeah, it was. Okay. Let's go, then. Looks like Kibugamine, Kibugamine Academy's third floor open up this time. I wonder what's here. I'm not gonna go open those doors. The fight? Okay. So, if I do this, it'll tell me what each of these rooms are. Uh, so this ray, wait. Oh, hey. Kigi. Nice skirt. Third floor was unlocked this time. While briefly looking around, I saw both a physics lab and an armor. There's some sort of giant machine in the physics lab. I wonder what it's for. Might as well check it out. So I'm guessing this is the art room. Look at this shit. From the looks of it, this is an art room. Though it feels kind of strange in more ways than one. Well, 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 what a fine establishment this is. My artsy sense is tingling. Not only is there any bounty of paint, uh, pa painting supplies, there's quite the selection of sculpting tools. You're into sculpting, Yamada? Generally speaking, I partake not of the 3D world, but ah, figures are different. They're practically 2D. Not sure how he's defining practically. I'm partially fond of the works of Taranbo, Pumpkinhead, and Saburo Rapangi. Mama Cat amplifies Sharanbo's distinct style through a sublime rendering of the feline form. Pumpkinhead produces the highest class fairy model prototypes of anyone this century. Big words. Sabaru Rapongi, master of the posable figure, went overseas pros proselytizing about mech girls. <laughs> Fucking weird. Hmm. All of are probably seem to be named the Elite Four of the figure world. This is why I don't like you. Yeah, I don't the know know is I Furthermore, the reason one seed remains unclaimed, precisely, tis for myself. <laughs> and so begins the legend of the of Hifumi Yamada, conqueror of the apocalypse. Okay, good luck with that. And there's a room back here. The 
fuck? This is a store storage room connected to the art room. What the fuck? There's something on the floor. Looks like a photograph. I reached my hand down to pick it up and stopped. What? <laughs> They're all. What? There in this picture were the deceased Fujisaki, Kawada, and Owada. On top of that, they were smiling. What the heck is this? Question after question flooded my mind. Why is the three of them? Why are they together? Why are they smi why are they smiling? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera? Where was it developed? Plus, on the windows in that classroom, no iron plates. That means the picture wasn't taken at Kimigami Academy. Before I had time to answer any of those questions, they were forcibly expelled from my mind. Get right back. That's mine. Nakuma appeared out of the blue, interrupting my thoughts and swiped the photograph. Uh oh, did you see it? There's some nice smiles, huh? They're enjoying the academy life. It's like a page out of the book of you. What do you know about that picture? Not telling. What the fuck? Hey, where'd you go? My cries fell on deaf ears. Okay, now I'm fucking confused. Have they all met before? Before Kirigami Academy? But they all acted as if none of them knew each other except for... What's her name? Uh... My Zono. She's the only one who acted as if she knew anybody. That was the person she knew. Who is that over there? What the fuck? It's probably locked. I feel like that room's locked. It looks like it would be locked. Never mind. What the fuck is this? It's a rack room? Ah, yeah. Um, this is a recreation room. Somewhere for the students to rest and relax. Impress there's a room like this in school. <laughs> if this were a normal school, you'd be right. Othello and Shoji darts into your billiards. And look at this. There's quite the variety of magazines. <laughs> you have no dearth of, of, of cures for boredom. Dun, 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 dun. I have some additional intelligence with all this fashion, motorcycle, martial arts, gaming, baseball, soccer, PC mags, and more. You won't find anything dirty. I mean, this is a school. You'll just have to live with a few risque pinups. When, when new issues of these magazines are published, will they be made available to us? No can do. Even if I wanted to, the magazines themselves. Huh? I... Never mind. That's all the intel for now. Bye bye Hmm, I'm a little perplexed. What about Monik about what Monikuma said? So it's a pity. It would quite enrich our lives if we were to receive new reading material from time to time. Yeah. I guess so. Agreed. Wait, actually, let me talk to you. <laughs> okay, so you're done talking. So that's cool. We get a rec room. That's actually pretty fucking sick. Oh. Why did I run into there? Okay. We have one main room left. That is right here. Why does it have, like, some next crazy shit protecting it? Hello, what the fuck? Why is it... This is the physics lab? It looks like a, like a lab for a... It looks less like a lab for a class and more like a research laboratory. Yo, Ishimaru. You okay? Hey, Ishimaru. Looks like we're in some sort of laboratory. No good. He's not responding. Now, what the fuck is this? Ooh, what on earth is this monstrous machine? The fuck? Watch out! What? You wanna leap through time? What? That's a time machine! Very sweet, eh? One of the students here built it. She was a former student who died in the dreads of the despair. The super duper high school physicist. A time machine? Is it true? Can it travel to the past? So if so, then allow me to go. If I can return to the past, if I can return, I'll be able to stop, bro. Out of the question, this time machine can only go back one minute. If I ever get those times, I can only leave a cup ramen sitting a minute too long. What is it? You disappointed? It was 
all a lie anyways. We got no time machine here. Nope, nope. What? It's actually an air purifier. An air purifier. It is a fine piece of tech that can produce oxygen in many numbers of uh, conditions. So you should, you could even live on Mars with it. Well, there's still the problem of temperature and gravity, so you actually probably couldn't. Anywho, the reason you guys have clean air to breathe is because of this sucker. So try not to poke around too much and break it. This big machine is just an air purifier? But forget about that. He went out of his way to throw salt in each one of his wounds. Damn it! I fucking hate that guy. Alright, what the fuck is in the bag over there? What the fuck? Wait a minute! I have to go back and see that. Who all saw that? Oh, it's Fukawa. This is a preparation field for the physics lab, I'm guessing. So it's a bit of a jumbled mess, and it smells of chemicals. I feel so at home here. Uh, well, the smell of formaldehyde, formaldehyde, oh, really turned Oh my god. I just want to soak myself in it. Yeah, you're fucked. The more genocide, genocide enjoys herself, the less I like this place. I think I might explode, so i myself in sweet, sweet for men, blah, blah, blah. Big words. Okay. Okay, we're done here. There's something I saw in the other fucking room that I want to look at again. Why was it here, and for what reason? Is Kirigiri in here too? What the fuck? Wait a minute. This is where I just saw Kirigiri. Okay, whatever. What the fuck? What do we have here? Looks like a digital camera with some sort of bizarre anime character on it. It's a little dusty, but it seems to power has power design. I think we can use this. I'll show everyone later. <sighs> well, I've made a number of unusual discoveries, but they're far cry from what I call clues. I'm not sure what to make it of it all. I'll go meet with everyone in the cafeteria and see what they say. Well, I guess I'll head that way then. As soon as I stepped in the cafeteria, my eyes were drawn to. <gasps> ah, Asahina? Confused, I called out to her, but my voice was drowned out by the voice of another person who just arrived. Asahina. Huh? Hey, weren't you supposed to be sick? Everyone rushed past me and gathered around Asahina. At least Asahina looked uncomfortable being surrounded by so many people. Asahina, you are right now, Asahina. <laughs> yeah, I've had some donuts, so I'm feeling much better. You really like donuts, don't you? <laughs> Did you not say you had a stomachache? It's like the stomachache made me hungry. <laughs> my memory's a little jumbled. It said a goldfish will eat, eat whatever it is given, regardless of the condition of its stomach. It reminds me of a certain someone, Master Aoi Hasahina. Hey, you're the last person I want to hear that from. Ooh, I was worried about you. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, you. What is it? You got some honkin' milkers, don't you? What's that take, like a gallon milk a day? In a way, from Asahina. Anyway, how about we hold one of those investigation report meeting things, eh? Ish. Then let's settle, dude. Alright, so before we get into this, I'm going to end the episode for today. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. Uh, in the next episode, we will start this uh, explanation of the investigation stuff. I'll see you guys next time, Scott Pilgrim, maybe.